Good afternoon. I've come down to Cornwall this evening to do some more photography. Um, I've come away in the van. Now, I've already been to photograph St. Michael's Mount, which you'll see after this intro. Uh, they're kind of the wrong way around because it's night time now. And obviously, if I filmed the, the vlog uh, during this time, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Um, I wanted to stick this uh, bit in first, so I've not actually been out with the camera at all, done any vlogging really since uh, the end of September, um, pretty much when we were in Europe. And I've kind of come back from that holiday and not really had the drive um, to kind of go out and do much photography. A lot of that's linked to do with work. I've been working quite a lot of overtime and quite long days, probably for about six months now and it's also linked kind of to the weather although i do like shooting in winter i quite like the stormy weather but it's just those those early kind of days that don't last very long it gets dark very early and i've not really had much chance and also to be honest i have lost a, a bit of the drive for it um now hopefully going to get a bit of that drive back um today and tomorrow i've come down to cornwall i'm in the van I love a road trip in the van, it's only been a short one, but I've come down for this evening and I'm going to be here tomorrow as well, hopefully going to get down to Land's End, do a few locations down that end of Cornwall um, and, and just try and get the, the love back for it really. So hope you enjoy um, the, the vlog down at St Michael's Mount that's going to be coming up any minute and um, like a lot of people have um, been saying recently in the vlogs do a photography um, it's all kind of just trying to get out, trying to get motivated again and trying to see the reason I kind of love doing this. Um, I'm not going to lie, I think you do need a break from stuff sometimes. I've pretty much been vlogging on and off, apart from a little break here and there, full, full time for probably about a year and a half now. And it does take up a lot of time. Now don't get me wrong, it's one of my favorite things in photography is vlogging it. I love editing the videos and putting them together. And it's, it's really good to having the interaction from the, the community on YouTube. Um, but sometimes you do need a break. Now, it doesn't mean I've been doing nothing. In that time, I've been doing admin stuff for photography um, in my spare time. So I've got all my Etsy up to date now, all eBay up to date, um, websites up to date. Um, but now feels a good time to get out. I've, like I said, I've had a few days off. I've got uh, today, which is Monday and Tuesday off. I'm gonna try and get some good uh, locations. Some nice seascape ones coming up. I hope you enjoy uh, the video um, that goes on the end of this one. It's gonna be a bit short, apart from this intro, because it's just me here at the night location. Um, but from tomorrow, hopefully you're gonna get a nice sunrise at St. Michael's Mount as well. And then after that, it's probably going to be a few coastal locations and maybe ending up with a, a sunset tomorrow um, at another mine down here. So hope you enjoy the vlog and I'll catch up with you um, in a minute down on the beach. And then after that, I'll catch up with you tomorrow, which will kind of be my next time I speak to you. I'm down at the mount now. Um, I've got the camera set up and I've been doing a bit of wandering already around the beach to try and kind of find a, a composition I like. And to be honest with you, I'm struggling quite a lot. Uh, there's a few options here saying that. You've got the causeway, which you've probably seen 101 shots of before, uh, which is kind of just here at the moment. The problem is, is the tide is too low at the moment and there's all it looks like when you go to shoot it is kind of an ugly causeway with loads of seaweed and uh, kind of rocks around it. And it's the same old story with these kind of rocks here, um, which I was hoping to shoot around and use them as foreground interest to look up to the, the actual mount. And the reason uh, for that was because when I arrived at the scene, 
uh, there was a lot, and there still is a massively high amount of cloud this end. But down here, we did actually have some breaks. You can probably see the overexposed parts in this video clip uh, is the bit where we would have had some nice pink skies. And we did get a little bit of that. Um, it's just by the time I set up and found the composition I kind of was okay-ish happy with, um, it kind of didn't really last. So what I decided to do in the end is just to walk down the beach and just kind of use the sea uh, as the interest. The tides kind of calmed down now a bit, or the, shall I say the waves has, but before there were a few more ripples in this. Um, and I was just hoping to include them as they kind of bend around the corner here into the actual image itself. Um, now it is quite moody. It's a very, very moody scene. I'll see if I can get it to expose for the clouds. Um, but something like that, with a big filter on there, bringing those skies down, you can really add to that drama in the skies. Now, I can't use filters really with this scene, so I'm having to shoot in HDRs. Now, I'm not a massive fan of HDRs, but you've got to use them in certain situations, and this is one of them. Now, the sunset is not quite behind it, but it's very, very kind of to the right, quite far back from the mount which means the whole front of that is going to be in silhouette. It's going to be quite dark when the sun's setting. And what that means is unless you are doing some kind of HDR shots or you have a really uh, a camera that's really good with its dynamic range, you are not going to be able to bring out detail in the front of that. It's going to be a very in shadow, very dark and very silhouetted. So I'm using HDRs just to kind of get um, the kind of images I want. It will allow me to have dark skies yet try and bring up the the kind of shadows enough to have some detail on the mount here now i'm shooting with a 24 to 105 um, i'm shooting around about 28 mil just enough to get the, the barrel distortion out of the lens and i'm shooting an iso 100 and that uh, when i was shooting earlier it was giving me around about 20 of a second down to um, uh, a quarter of a second on the, the, the slowest one it's got a lot darker now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump up the ISO, or sorry, bump the ISO down to 50. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the aperture up to f18. Now that is quite high on the 24 to 105 lens. It is a lens that does tend to get softer as you start going over f18. But saying that, it should be able to deal with, with the scene easily anyway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the exposure on that now. Now that's given me two and a half seconds on the longest uh, speed and half a second on the quickest. Now by using that, I should be able to get a bit of a long exposure in the water now. So I'm just going to recompose. Just kind of trial and error of a few shots that I, I like really. It's kind of not really gone 100% to plan in uh, the location. So I'm just kind of doing stuff now to see what I can get out of it, see what I can make from it. As I've said, I will be here um, in the morning as well for um, sunrise. And I was hoping, <laughs> stupidly, without checking the weather, that I might be able to do an Astro shot here tonight, but it's so cloudy, I don't think there's any chance that's gonna happen. The Milky Way, although it is the southern part of the Milky Way, I, I know that doesn't make sense, but it's a bit that I would see from the south where I'm standing. Um, which isn't the best bit to be honest. It's the darkest bit which um, you won't see as, as, as kind of as bright stars in it. But that was going to line up tonight uh, roughly on top of the mount coming upwards. So it would have been nice if we had uh, kind of no clouds here. But that's just part and parcel of landscape photography really. Um, you never really know what you're going to get. So yeah, I'm just going to hang around now, um, continue doing a few more shots, um, see what I can get from the area. It's going to be a bit of a short one, this one. It's kind of setting up really for um, me tomorrow to have a, a, a full day exploring um, Cornwall. Well, not all of it, but I'm going to go here in the morning and then probably down into the, the south a bit more, uh, maybe to Land's End and maybe finish at Botelak. I think that's how you set. Um, mines which are kind of down by St Just which I've shot at before 
I just wasn't that fan of um, the light and the, the colours in the sky when I was there. So I'm going to make another attempt at that one. A few locations in between. Um, I'll crack on now, try and get some more shots. I'll put them up. So it's a short vlog. It's my first one back for a long time. So I'll catch up you on the one tomorrow. If you like um, any of the pictures or the vlog, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, whack something in the comments there. I'm trying to get back into um, doing them more weekly again um, from the kind of break I've had from it. Um, if you like the channel, please uh, subscribe and uh, I'll catch up you on the next one, which will be the stuff from tomorrow for me and in a week's time for you.